48 hours ago, we found something quite remarkable. What'd they find? There's a structure. In Antarctica? And a specimen. Really? They're touching down. This is Kate Lloyd's Columbia Paleontology. Let me show you why you flew 10,000 miles. We estimate it's been here 100,000 years. I'm going to take a tissue sample. Do you really think that's a good idea? Yes, I do. You, my friends, will all be immortalized as the people who made this discovery. Cheer that. Somebody was attacked. But it seems everyone is fine. Either someone miraculously healed themselves, or someone is not who they say they are. What was it doing to him? It's imitating his cells. I think this thing copies its prey and then hides inside it. What are you saying? Not all of us are human. Could be any of us. We can't let this thing leave. If it makes it out of here, millions of people could die. Season two of the M News. This is episode four, and I am reviewing the thing 2011 from the thing from the same makers of uh, Dawn of the Dead 2004. We bring you the remake, the thing from John Carpenter's almighty horror classic. This is one I saw in theaters with my cousin for her on her birthday party, and wow, well, I must say, this was a good horror remake. It was a good movie. It's messed up in a lot of ways. I mean, you know, these, obviously this is taking place in uh, somewhere up in north, really cold areas, uh, Antarctica, I think, I'm not sure. I'm not to watch the movie again, be sure what it is. What's happening is it's a group of scientists who think they might have found alien life on Earth buried deep in with the, the ground, frozen in solid ice. They bring out a scientist to carve open the, the ice so they can see what is inside of, you know, the, the ice, of course. Everything goes wrong when the thing becomes... When the ice starts to melt inside the warm building and the thing breaks loose and terrorizes everybody, it kills many people, kills a lot of, kills almost everybody, it does kill everybody, pretty much. This movie is a really, really scary ride. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of spots where you're going to be sitting there thinking, bored, you're going to be, <laughs> there's a lot of talk scenes, but it, it, it's not a bad thing because you need to know what's going on from this process of what he's looking at and what he's thinking about doing with it and what he's want to you know he want he thinks this is going to be the big this the main doctor there is going to think you know to himself this is going to be the big money this is going to be a good thing you got you got to watch it i mean at some point you're going to be like okay you know get to the action get to the scenes i want to get scared they do come pretty d good uh i s watched this with my friends the last weekend and, and we all enjoyed it what was it the best horror remake i've seen it no i think evil dead was t probably 10 times better than the thing but the thing is a watchable film it's a very watchable film it's really good it's i own it for blu-ray actually it's uh 
right here. Not a bad one to buy on Blu-ray and DVD. Uh, come, mine came with a, also the digital copy for Ultraviolet. It's a really good deal. You guys would love it. Uh, from, from before, I'm going to end this. I'm going to thank the certain company, Universal Studios, for such a good movie. I mean, you're going to like it. It's a good one. You might want to buy it for Blu-ray and DVD. Just DVD would be fine. But it is a good one, and I think everybody would like it. Well, not everybody, but it has its moments where it makes you just jump, freak out. It's gross. It has its moments where it's just boring, so forth and so much. But you will like it. You will like it. It's pretty good. Uh, for this review on The Thing, you know, we got... I, I think I'm going to... First of all, I want to talk about some of the actors in it, the actresses. You know, we got a few of them. We got uh, Mary Elizabeth, Wednesday, Joel Edgerton, and just a whole bunch of people. Got a lot of Russians in this movie. They all come together to try to think of what this thing is, and uh, they're going to eventually find out that it's so not polite, and it's so scary. This thing kills, it takes shape of forms of people, comes out creepy-like, it'll open itself and kind of bring out this octopus-looking thing. You got those things running around, it's scary, it's fun, but it's so, so freaky-looking. It's a good ride. Uh, I might just, you know, I really like the, the doctor in this one. I forget who he's played by, but it's the main doctor. He's pretty, he can be mean, he can be a dick, you know, he can do a lot of that stuff. But it all pays off when you see him, you know. Well, I don't want to, if you haven't seen the movie, you probably have seen the movie because it's been out for at least two years now. Uh, you're going to like, it's a good one. It's 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 a decent movie. I mean, you're going to watch it. And it wasn't really a letdown because I was expecting this during it, so I'm going to grade it a little bit high. I'm going to go a, I might go a 7, I'm going to go 7.1 out of 10 for the thing, remake 2011. All because it was a good remake, not a bullshit, you know, one that I really did not get into. I got into it. It was alright. It was funny. It, I mean, it, was, it wasn't funny. It was spooky. It was good. It was just one that you might want to watch at night, you know, because there's the quiet scenes, but then they come up and they scare you half to death. Good thing, everybody. It's a good movie. That's all for this review. I'll see you on episode, I think. I think I said four, so five. I'll see you on episode five. Hopefully this week we'll be doing Halloween, Rob Zombie's Halloween 1 and Halloween 2. Hopefully we get those, those, those done. Those reviews will be done by Michael Borer, of course. Have a great night, everybody.